Now, here's an interesting story. A 32-year-old man from Rustenburg, Ipalenga Kuno, intends to be the first ever runner to finish the Two Oceans Half Marathon on crutches. Known to his friends as Crazy Legs, Kuno never allowed living with disability to hold him back. He joins me now. Ipalenga, really good to speak to you. I mean, I'm feeling encouraged already. Talk to us about your motivation to do the Two Oceans Half Marathon. Hi, Ipelin, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. So I was saying that I'm feeling pretty encouraged by your determination and certainly your target of uh, running the Two Oceans Half Marathon uh, on crutches. Uh, yes, uh, I'm sorry, I got a bit lost in your question a bit, but uh, yes, I've actually completed uh, my third one now. And uh, my next goal would be obviously to run at the Paralympics on crutches, yeah. Now talk to us first, yeah, I suppose it's, uh, it's about your condition. What are you unable to do ordinarily before we talk, to about, talk about some of the achievements? Okay, I was born with septo-optic uh, dysplasia, which simply means that I was born without balance, and this affects my eyesight as well. So uh, I would say my main disability is probably my sight, you know. As far as walking, uh, it doesn't make sense, but I run and I struggle walking, yeah, without crutches. That's quite interesting. Now, what motivated you to start running? Uh, I started running in 2016 when I was 120 plus uh, overweight, so I couldn't find time to go to gym. So that 120 led kilos. Me to, yes, sir. You look nothing like 120 kilos now. How much weight have you lost <laughs> in that time? It's been lost, yeah. It's been lost due to the running, so yeah. Well, talk to us about that journey. I mean, you, you're not 120 kilos, clearly. How much weight have you lost? Uh, I lost, uh, I think, two oceans I weighed. The last two oceans I weighed, I weighed about uh, 82 kilos. So uh, it's, been, uh, it's been an oncoming thing where I ran my first two oceans in 2018, running it for the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund. And I've always had this angle that, let's, listen, uh, whenever I run, I would like to promote disability, you know, as in uh, accessibility more than the disability, because I think people have got this misconception when they think about disability. It's not really a disability, but it's a main, uh, it's mainly a, uh, an accessibility issue. Now, you grew up playing some form of a sport, uh, so obviously running for you is, is not a new thing. What did you do in the past? And also talk to us about the amount of encouragement that it's given not to just people living with the disabilities, but certainly, as, as I said earlier, I mean, I'm, I'm totally encouraged. Uh, yeah, uh, I was, I think I've done all forms of running as far as uh, doing it for the nation, uh, at the nationals in SA, I've done wheelchair racing, I've done running without crutches. So running on crutches was completely a new thing for me. And like I said, I would love to see this, you know, pioneering this to go, to the Paralympics because there are people on crutches that run. So that's my thing, yeah. Now, I read up about you wanting to run in the, in the Paralympics, that there are indications that there actually isn't a, ca a category for your disability. Is this correct? And have you had any com communications with the Paralympics? Uh, yeah, at the moment, the, the main problem is there isn't, there's never been uh, a consideration for athletes on crutches. So normally with the Paralympics is one would have to uh, create a pool and also, you know, do a bit at the Paralympics. As you know, the Paralympics and, and Olympics, every, every Olympics, they will add two new sports and so on. So running on crutches has just never been, uh, has just never been, uh, has, has just never been uh, thought of. I think there are people on I mean, there's more than enough people on crutches, but normally when you get there on crutches, you are told, oh, no, you're going to raise on a wheelchair. Mm. So I would like to change that and obviously create a category for running on crutches. So I'd imagine there's some lobbying that's uh, currently taking place on the, on the sidelines? Uh, yeah, I am currently lobbying internationally as well as locally. Hence, I'm running marathons 
so that I can encourage even the average guy that's on home on crutches wanting to run on crutches, you know, to get, you know, to join in, you know, because of, we can only run at marathons because marathons are open category. But as far as disability sports, unfortunately here at home, it's still a dream. Yeah. Now, what sort of reaction have you gotten uh, in this process of lobbying? Uh, it's been quite positive. Uh, it's been quite positive. I would say internationally looks like it's probably where I'm going to make serious moves because I was actually supposed to run Amsterdam Marathon last year where I ended up not going because of the looting. But the plan with Amsterdam Marathon was I'm going to link up with the Netherlands uh, Disability Sports Federation, the Germans, as well as the as well as the Belgium Federation, for them to start inviting me over whenever they've got their national championships for persons with disability. And we, they obviously want to take this towards Europe. As you know, the next Paralympics are in uh, Paris in, 24, in 2024. Now, obviously, people that are, that are watching and that are keen to, to, to support you or certainly to learn more about uh, your condition uh, are keen to, to reach you. How are you reachable? Uh, they can uh, contact my manager, uh, ter uh, Lauren Taras at uh, Taras Communication. Or they can just reach out to me on social media, which is Ipilem Kuno or Crazy Legs. Yeah. Final question. Talk to us about Crazy Legs. How did that name come about? Uh, I think for me, having a so-called disability, uh, I've never seen it as, as a disability. So mm. for me, Crazy Legs is actually celebrating what I can do. You know, it's crazy to think that I don't have a balance yet I run. So that's what we want to achieve. You know, hence I'm also encouraging children uh, to see the so-called challenges as, as, as an accessibility point of a thing, not really a disability. So I think having a name such as Crazy Legs really motivates one to just say celebrate life well it's not just me even uh darren our floor manager was equally motivated so we wish you all the best and certainly thank you for motivating all of us here ipaleng kuno and he's the main speaker the city south africa disability career expert and he hopes to be the first man on crutches to run the and complete the two oceans half marin well thank you for your time